The Dartmouth College men's basketball team will soon vote on whether it wants to unionize to protect the interest of its players, potentially making it the first unionized team in college sports. On the surface, this potential deal has tons of money on the table. But if you peel back the lay, the NCAA's men's basketball tournament, which began last week, won't be the only college basketball competition worth watching this year. Two weeks ago, organizers of a new tournament planned for the fall at the MGM Marina in Las Vegas indicated they'd offer each participating school up to $2 million in nil money that must be distributed to current athletes. The Player Zero Tournament, as it's known, isn't competing against March Madness, not yet, at least. But as college athletics undergoes seismic, money-driven changes, it's one model for the future. Others, intended to further enrich schools, athletic conferences and media partners, are also emerging. The consequences are stark. By next season, March Madness could look very different. Within a decade, it could be obsolete. Fans, now settling into their sofas to watch some great basketball, should enjoy this year's tournament as if it's a last dance. People are also reading. Search warrant, former McDowell High Guidance Counselor engaged in sex acts with student on school grounds Marion Mann charged with assault, stalking after being identified in Deepwood's surveillance video Marion couple charged with felony child abuse another suspect in Dollar General larceny charged to charged with having meth after raid of Marion home Marion Mann faces drug charges after traffic stop Marion Mann charged with fraud possession of meth local female powerlifter inducted into the NC. Powerlifting Hall of Fame McDowell freshman golfer Kalen Dobson shoots 75 at Marion Lake Club court documents, sex charges against former McDowell high school counselor, coach involved student 2024 Little Miss McDowell pageant set for March 23rd Burke County man named new tenor for the Oak Ridge Boys McDowell baseball wins first conference game of the season in thrilling fashion McDowell students participate in all district honor band new business park opens in Marion with dental offices. The NCAA's first March Madness dance began in 1939. Since then, the organization has steadily grown its men's basketball tournament, and the money earned by it. As of 2023, more than 80% of the NCAA's revenues come from the tournament. The NCAA pays out much of the money, roughly, $2 million units to athletic conferences based on each team they qualify and each win they earn. It adds up, the SEC took in $34 million worth of units last year. But the process of getting in is where the problems start and what has long inspired discussions about alternatives to March Madness. Currently, 32 teams automatically qualify for the tournament by winning their conference tournaments.